Arunachleshvara and Bhoganandishwara. You can visit either shrine first as both are constructed similarly with the same floor plan and structure. The difference lies in the ideologies embodied by each shrine. The Arunachleshvara shrine represents the childhood of Lord Shiva and the Bhoganandishwara shrine represents the Lord's youth. Each shrine has a Shivalinga enshrined in a Garbhagriha, with a small Sukhana sea and a four-pillared Navaranga. In front of each Navaranga, you can find Ain and the idol. The platforms are richly decorated with various carvings and images of different flora and fauna. A stone umbrella can be seen near the pillars that has detailed carvings. It is said that the stone umbrella is unique to the temple. Inside the temple you can see a two-feet idol of Lion Gunapathy, which is called as Singha Gunapathy. Just west of here, there is a small Kalyanamantapa whose pillars and dome are of exquisite workmanship. Make your way to the Navaranga of the temple.